In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Alright, so here we've got a problem which says show that square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2 cos 8 theta equals 2 cos theta. So that's why we have to prove that this is equal to. Now, how do we go about this one? The first step is going to be like this. So, you know, let's take out 2 from this term. You know, we've, we've got two terms here, this and this one. So, take out 2 because it's there in both the terms. So, if you take out 2, it becomes 1 plus cos 8 theta, right? So, now get back the square roots. So, that becomes 1 plus cos 8 theta. 1 plus cos 8 theta should be considered here as 1 plus cos theta. So, 1 plus cos theta is nothing but, or 1 plus cos A. Now, 1 plus cos A is nothing but, 2 cos square a by 2. Similarly, in the same way, 1 plus cos 8 theta is going to be 2 cos square 8 theta by 2. So, let's see what happens then. This is just going to become 1 plus cos 8 theta is 2 cos square 8 theta divided by 2. Alright, this whole term will become, but then 2 will be there. So, just use the bracket still and then draw the square root and then just come back just for the convenience of writing it accurately, nothing else. Right, so the square root remains and now next step is going to be what this 2 cos square 8 theta by 2 is going to become 2 times 2 is going to be 4 and then 8 theta by 2 is 4 again so it's going to be 4 cos square 4 theta All right it's going to be square root of 4 cos square 4 theta right and then plus it'll be 2 and then another square root and then plus 2 another square root so now square root of 4 cos square 4 theta is going to be what? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of cos square 4 theta is cos 4 theta. So that square root is removed now, right? It's pretty cool. So now it becomes 2 plus 2 cos 4 theta. That's going to be under the square root. And the one before that, 2 plus whatever, that's going to be under the square root as well. So now the next step is going to be similar. It's going to be like, you know, cyclic. That's all. So 2 plus this term, you're going to consider this term, these two terms, and then take out 2 again. So it becomes. Uh, 2 times 1 plus cos 4 theta, right? Now, this is going to be under the square root. Now, outside, there's just 1 square root. So, now, 1 plus cos 4 theta is going to be no different from 1 plus cos 8 theta. So, we have 2 plus 2 into 1 plus cos 4 theta is 2 cos square 4 theta divided by 2. Of course, there's a bigger square root here. So, now, we can write this as 4 cos square, 2, 4 theta by 2 is 2 theta right that's going to be under the square root 2 plus that's going to be under the square root now what is square root of 4 cos square 2 theta square root of 4 is 2 square root of cos square 2 theta is just cos 2 theta right so square root is gone and we've got 2 plus 2 cos 2 theta right so let's continue that in the next thing so and then we've got let's again take out the 2 it's got 2 so take out 2 and then you have 1 plus cos 2 theta so, 1 plus cos 2 theta is nothing but it's 2 cos square 2 theta by 2, right? So, it's going to be square root of 2 times 2 is 4, 4 cos square 2 theta by 2 is just theta. So, square root of 4 is 2, square root of cos square t theta is cos theta. So, here we are RHS. So, we proved that square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 plus 2 cos 8 theta equals 2 cos theta. Well, so that's how this problem is solved. So, it might have seemed a little complicated in the beginning, but it was pretty simple. All you had to do was, you know, use the relevant formula in the right places and then just, you know, keep taking, keep eliminating these square roots and then you finally arrive at 2 cos theta. That ends on the right-hand side, right? So, hence we proved that. So, this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Thank you.